Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is a modern warship of the Philippine Navy, classified as a guided missile frigate, though many casual observers sometimes call it a destroyer due to its sleek design and advanced combat systems. Built by Hyundai Heavy Industries of South Korea, this vessel represents a major leap forward for the Philippines' maritime defense capabilities and marks a turning point in the modernization of the country's naval fleet. To understand the importance of this ship, it helps to break down its features, performance, design, and what sets it apart not only within the region, but also in terms of value and versatility. The ship measures about 107 meters in length, with a beam of 14 meters, and a displacement of roughly 2,600 tons, putting it in the lightweight class compared to larger destroyers operated by major naval powers, but still packing enough power and equipment to perform a wide range of missions. Its size allows it to be highly maneuverable, well suited for the Philippines' geography, which is defined by narrow straits, coastal areas, and open sea zones that require both agility and endurance. The BRP Jose Rizal is capable of reaching speeds of around 25 knots, with a maximum range of more than 4,500 nautical miles when traveling at an economical cruising speed. This makes it suitable not only for national defense and territorial patrol, but also for longer deployments, humanitarian missions, and participation in international naval exercises. From a technical standpoint, the ship carries state-of-the-art sensors and weapon systems that make it a true multi-role combat platform. Its primary combat system is integrated into a combat management suite developed by Hanwha, allowing the crew to track, monitor, and engage multiple threats simultaneously. The frigate is armed with a 76 meter Oto Malara super rapid gun at the bow, which provides fast and accurate fire against both surface and aerial targets. In addition, it carries a pair of 30 mm secondary guns, which are effective against smaller vessels or incoming threats like fast attack craft. For anti-ship warfare, the design provides slots for surface-to-surface -surface missiles. And for air defense, the frigate is prepared to carry surface-to-air missile launchers. Although the initial delivery of the ship included some systems described, it's fitted for but not with, meaning space and wiring were prepared but weapons not yet installed. The platform remains upgradable and flexible, which is a major strength in terms of long-term relevance. Perhaps one of the most important aspects of the BRP Jose Rizal is its focus on versatility. Unlike older ships of the Philippine Navy, which were hand-me-downs or surplus vessels from allied countries, this frigate was designed from the start for multi-role capability. It can engage in anti-air, anti-surface, and anti-submarine warfare. To deal with underwater threats, the ship is equipped with torpedo launchers and sonar systems capable of detecting and tracking submarines. Its helicopter deck and hangar support one medium naval helicopter, typically the AW-159 Wildcat, which can extend the ship's detection and strike range with torpedoes and surveillance equipment. This air-sea integration dramatically increases the effectiveness of the frigate in real operations, making it far more than just a gunboat. In terms of electronic warfare and situational awareness, the ship is fitted with advanced radar and communication systems. The 3D surveillance radar provides long-range tracking of air and surface targets, giving commanders a wide picture of the battle space. This is complemented by electronic countermeasure equipment, designed to jam or mislead incoming threats, a critical feature in modern naval combat where electronic warfare can be as decisive as traditional firepower. The ship also employs modern communication suites that allow it to integrate seamlessly with allied naval forces, which is particularly important as the Philippines continues to cooperate closely with regional and global partners like the United States, Japan and ASEAN nations in joint exercises and maritime security operations. Design-wise, the BRP Jose Rizal is a striking vessel. Its stealth features are evident in the angular shaping of the hull and superstructure, which are intended to reduce radar cross-section and make it harder for enemy sensors to detect. The clean lines and integrated mast give it a futuristic look, while also serving practical functions in terms of radar and infrared signature reduction. This stealth-oriented design is not just for show, 
In modern naval warfare, being able to avoid detection can be just as important as carrying heavy weaponry. The interior layout of the ship was also designed with crew efficiency in mind. Providing more modern accommodations and facilities compared to older Philippine Navy ships, which were often decades behind contemporary standards. Performance in actual missions has already proven the ship's worth. Since entering service, the BRP Jose Rizal has participated in international exercises such as RIMPAC, the Rim of the Pacific exercise hosted by the U.S. Navy in Hawaii. This event, which involves navies from across the globe, gave the Philippine Navy an opportunity to showcase its new capability and to test the frigate's systems in high-level multinational operations. The ship has also been active in patrol missions within the West Philippine Sea, asserting the country's presence in contested waters while providing a modern deterrent against potential threats. Its ability to stay at sea for extended periods, combined with its modern living facilities, makes it much more capable of sustained deployments compared to older ships. One of the unique selling points of the BRP Jose Rizal is the balance it strikes between cost, capability, and future-proofing. Larger destroyers from countries like the United States, Japan or China may carry heavier missile batteries, more powerful radar arrays, and advanced propulsion systems, but they also cost significantly more to build and maintain. For a developing country like the Philippines, the Jose Rizal-class frigate represents a smart investment. It provides credible combat power and modern technology at a manageable price point. Additionally, the fact that the design allows for upgrades means that the ship can grow in capability as funding and strategic requirements evolve. For example, vertical launch systems for more advanced missiles can be installed in the future without requiring an entirely new ship. From a broader perspective, the introduction of the BRP Jose Rizal has symbolic importance. It demonstrates that the Philippine Navy is no longer purely reliant on second-hand vessels, but is now acquiring modern ships built to specification. This shift contributes to regional security, as a stronger and more capable Navy means the Philippines can play a more active role in maintaining stability in Southeast Asia. At the same time, it provides the Filipino people with a sense of pride, as the ship was named after the national hero Jose Rizal, linking the vessel's mission of safeguarding freedom and sovereignty with the values of courage, intelligence and sacrifice embodied by its namesake. Of course, no warship is without limitations. Compared to larger navies, the Jose Rizal-class frigates are still relatively lightly armed and rely heavily on their helicopter and missile systems to deliver maximum punch. The fitted for but not with status of certain systems means that, at least initially, the ship was not operating at its full potential. Critics have pointed out that in a high-intensity conflict with major powers, the frigate would need significant support from allies. However, within the strategic reality of the Philippines, focusing on patrol, deterrence, and limited regional defense, the ship is a well-balanced platform that delivers exactly what the country needs at this stage of its naval development. In summary, the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is not just another addition to the Philippine Navy. It is a milestone, combines stealth design, modern weapons, versatile mission capability, and advanced sensors into a single package that is cost-effective and upgradable. It has already proven itself in exercises and patrols, showing that the Philippines can now field a credible, modern combat vessel on the international stage. While it may not rival the massive destroyers and cruisers of world powers, it represents the right ship for the right role, a guardian of the nation's waters, a partner in international security, and a symbol of progress for the Philippine Navy. For both naval enthusiasts and everyday citizens, the BRP Jose Rizal stands as a proud reminder that the country is moving forward, one ship at a time, toward a stronger and more secure maritime future.